Good afternoon, folks. Big Bo with RVs with Big Bo and Parkway RV Center. Guys, I'm kind of excited about this. I don't get to review these very often. Um, and that is a Alpha Sia. Guys, these are these were very limited production made when they were new and you know, they haven't been made in several years, so they're harder and harder to find. Well, I've got one today, guys. A nice one. 45,000 miles. Three slides. This is a 2006 Alpha Sia. Uh, it is the 40 FD or the uh, 1004 floor plan. 40 feet long, 45,000 miles. Has the 7.2 liter 350 cat turbo diesel. 860 pound feet of torque. Got a 10,000 pound tow capacity. Allison 3000 transmission. Guys, Alpha was a pretty unique company. Uh, they were founded and owned by Johnny Crean Jr., who is the son of one of the most legendary men in the RV industry. That's John Crean Sr., who founded Fleetwood Motorhomes. Story goes, and this is where you get that unusual name, see ya, was Johnny Crean Jr. was a full-time RVer. John Crean Sr. was not. Johnny Crean had been a full-time RVer for several years. He wanted to make Fleetwood more desirable for full-timer for full-timers. And him and his dad argued about it all the time. Dad was stuck in his ways. Hey, he had the, he, he sold more motorhomes than any other manufacturer out there. Why should he change? If it's not broke, don't fix it. So his son got disgusted with it and decided to quit his dad's company and found Sia and build high-end uh, diesel motor homes for full-timers and fifth wheels for full-timers. And the name Sia, because that was the last thing he told his dad when he walked out the door from Fleetwood when he quit was Sia, hence to Sia. Now they later reconciled guys, in fact, Y'all may have heard of the Alpha Founder, which is also, uh, which is a collaboration between John Crean Sr. and John Crean, or Johnny Crean Jr. This is the next one up from that. This is a Sia. There's three different ones. There's a Sia Founder, a Sia, and a Sia Gold. This is the middle one, guys. 45,000 miles. These were designed, you can use them recreationally, of course, but they were designed with a full timer in mind. And you know, this one's in very nice shape. I've got the generator running. It's got a 7,500 Onan diesel generator. I uh, got the motor running. Now the stripes are typical 2006 stripes. You know, eight, um, no, 16 years old. You've got some little cracking in it, little fading. The C A decal on the front is uh, pretty much gone. So just expect that, that's normal for an 06 model. Tires are great. This thing has a fully enclosed basement storage. I'll try to show it to you the best I can. These doors are extremely heavy and I'll show you why. Ah, I wanna show you something. Look how thick these doors are. Uh, the entire motorhome walls are two and three eighths inch thick insulated. These are, like I said, they're naturally, they're four seasons since they are designed for four seasons uh, used to live in. Lord, that's a heavy door. So you've got slide out trays on this one. Uh, this one is full pass through. This one is naughty. You could put your TV on it or something if you want to. <laughs> Big old doors. Got the motor running, so it might be a little loud back here. These have air brakes, air suspension. In fact, they're drum brakes with, uh, with air brakes on top of it. He designed these things to stop. <coughs> You've got power awning on the patio. You've got slide toppers. Now, this thing's a little dirty. We haven't washed it yet. We're out, we're, uh, Currently, my um, only guy I've got that washes is out sick. So, he'll wash it when he gets back, get it looking a lot better. But, man, what a rig. 
Now guys, you know, a lot, for those of you who know the Alphas, you know they had that problem with the pitting. And this was very, very common with these and you either had an Alpha that pitted or you don't. This one doesn't. And what pitting was, is on this metal they use right here, it would develop little holes, little pin holes, and I'm talking about hundreds of them, and just in an area of the side of this slide. And that was just a defect. It was the run, they had a bad run of metal when they put this thing together and it caused it to do that. This one doesn't have any of that. So, and that's the thing about an Alpha, either you got one that pits or you have one that doesn't. And there's really no feasible way to fix it that will last very long. I got the 7500 Onan diesel generator running. It's also got a 2000 watt Xantrix inverter. Looks like it was a retired veteran owned. Like I said, it's not perfect, guys. You're going to see a few little things like that, like you would on any 16-year-old motorhome. But the inside is extremely nice. We did just install new carpet because obviously after 16 years it needed it. That's going to save you about, it'd probably cost you $1,500 or more to carpet this motorhome if you had to pay somebody to do it yourself. So I've already done that for you. That's good. Let's look inside. Now, another thing Alpha is known for is their incredibly tall ceiling height. And there's a lot of advantages to that. These things have a seven and a half foot tall ceiling, which gives you the ability to have larger cabinets and more storage. To this day, guys, I don't think there's ever been another motorhome design that could match the interior storage space of an Alpha because of that seven and a half foot tall ceiling. Like I said, um, Johnny Crane Jr. lived in one of these. He knew what full-time RVers wanted, and this is what he built. Very, very comfortable custom-made Alpha captain's chairs. I mean, that driver's seat is huge. So no matter what size you are, you're going to be comfortable driving it. Backup camera works great. Um, let me cut that air off. All right, I, I've got the airs on, but I don't really need it today. I just want to check them out. Um, and I'll show you more about the air here in a minute. 45,009 miles, 9.3 miles. So just turn 45,000. No check engine light. That red light right there is because I got the parking brake set. Uh, six speed Allison push button automatic, 3,000. Uh, it's got the drive computer so you can check your mileage and you check your temperature and all that good stuff you've got the quickie level up system to level to level it out cd player which i know big whoop but you know i guess that was top of the line back in 06. you've got power shades which make it really easy to close off at night because when you're having to open and, and, and close your windshield every night, you didn't want to fool with one of those Velcro curtains to put up here that have to take it down every day, fold it up and store it. So you've got this right here that completely covers your front. And then you've got manual ones on the side. So in just a few seconds, you're set up for nighttime use. And of course you've got one over there too. I'm not gonna put that down. But so really cool guys and it's just really easy to set up the next morning you just raise it up <laughs> and like i said and, and i know it's just a lot of little touches i didn't show you on the outside but it's also got a inside garbage can that you can access from the outside and just little things like that make a huge difference when you're living in a motorhome versus just using one recreationally uh, got the original TV up there, so everything fits good. Um, I mean, you can change that out if you want to. Up here, guys, you've got multiple battery disconnects, everything in one easy location. This is your, and, and I'm going to pay attention for whoever buys this thing, because I'm going to show you where all the slide-out switches are located, because they've got them spread throughout the entire RV. Alphas love to hide those. This is your main slide-out switch. This is your awnings. This is your three disconnects. This right here just to store, uh, that way you don't have to worry about somebody popping open your slide out when you're going down the road. You just cut the power off to it. This is your Xantrix inverter, 2000 watt controller. Um, 
we step to the back you've got that brand new carpet that's got more residential style furniture because it's made for comfort you still have a sleeper sofa right here leather sleeper sofa uh two recliners big windows they always stick and i don't know why but they always stick a little tv right there and but this is where that extra ceiling height comes in place look at these huge cabinets guys you know when you're living in one you can never have too much inside storage it's got a lot of outside storage through with that full pass-through basement in the trays but and there's some books and manuals stuff like that And you know what why it's so hard to find these things too because these were designed for the full-timer rv rv or you know and these things are several years old now problem is you get one that somebody lived in for 10 years it's, there's practically nothing left of it no matter how well they're built well this one right here has obviously not been used for living so um it's uh it's been more or less used recreationally it's got he's got they even put dual ceiling fans just to give it a comfort of home now let's talk about the uh, heat and air system on this alpha and these were unique to them they have a 27,000 btu central ducted roof or central air unit that goes into the belly just like a uh, just like you have in your home and it's an electric heat pump as well you've also got a propane furnace just for emergency use but the way these work is they don't have vents in the ceiling and I'm gonna try to explain to you the best way that I can interpret it. But up here above the drivers and seat, that is not air conditioner vents, that is the intake. Cause hot air rises. So when you come into this thing it's hot, all the hot air is gonna be up mostly toward the roof. This is gonna suck that hot air, circulate it all the way through the vents, which are all in the floor that shoot the air up. And it's going to shoot, even though I know cold air sinks, but it initially shoots up from the force of the fan. And that air shooting up is going to drive more hot air toward the roof and replace it with cold air on the bottom. It's, it's basically like, like you were standing in an empty barrel and then somebody turns on a water hose and drops it in the barrel. And you watch it puddle up around your feet and rise up your legs and then up to your whole body. Imagine that with cold air instead of water that's kind of the concept of it it's pushing uh, the hot air up and replacing it with cold air from the bottom going up and with two and three eighths inch insulation guys these things have incredible uh insulation factors it's going to retain that cold air or hot air either way you go and, and it's kind of cool because you think about it all right that's how it works for ac but what about heat well, heat's kind of the same principle. Cold in here, that hot air comes in here, and hot air rises and uh, and pushes the cold air up to the intake, and you've got it hot too. And then you've also got uh, an auxiliary kicker unit, which is about a thirteen thousand five hundred BTU uh, air unit. If you're in even that, if you're in a lot more hurry to cool it off, you know the only bad thing about that system they got it may take it uh, if it's really hot outside like 90 or 100 degrees it's going to take it a while but once it cools off it's going to cool better about anything out there but it's going to take it a while to get the temperature where you want it that's when you use this kicker air to at least get this main part of the rv cooled off while waiting on the basement air to do the rest um you've got day night shades sorry i know a few things about these alphas you know it's funny because i probably know more about alphas than anybody else reviewing rvs on the internet just because i've had the privilege of reviewing a few of these and i know them very well you've got solid surface countertops notice they put residential size huge sinks in here another trademark of the alpha uh filtered water dispenser should be a sprayer lots of storage in this thing this may be a long video because i'm gonna go over a lot of stuff with it because there's just so many things in here this is where that you get some extra huge storage even though you might need a step ladder to get to it uh to put stuff maybe put stuff up there that you don't need very often these are all solid wood cabinets i mean these things back in 2006 run you about 220,000 plus for uh just for a sea the sea of gold was even more than that and um and that was in 06 prices you figure in inflation 
Uh, new RV prices have just about doubled since 2006. So this is equivalent of about a $400,000 motor home today when it was new. This right here is where your trash can would go that you empty it out from the outside. Three burner stovetop, microwave convection oven. Notice the bigger oven in this. You've got a four door refrigerator and this is the first time I've opened it, but it's actually very nice and clean. This is another sign that I don't think this was a full time RV because normally what happens is you slide jars and cans and stuff in and out of a refrigerator, especially over 16 years, you're gonna put nicks in these, in these grates, nicks and scratches in these grates and you're just gonna see the, the silver metal underneath these, the aluminum. You see none of that in here. Stickers are good. This thing has not been a full-timer's RV, a full-time RVer's fridge. That's why this thing's in such great condition. Already cold. I didn't bring my thermometer, but uh, what is that, 18 degrees? So yeah, it works. <laughs> and the refrigerator will catch up to it in just a few hours. Um, this is cool right here. This looks like a, a mirror, but it's actually a hidden compartment. And if the, because I haven't opened this, guys, if the previous owners have not removed it, there is an actual, like a cork uh, wood map of the United States where you can mark every state you've been in. So let's take a look at it, if it's still in there. Boom, look at that. And obviously what you do is you take thumbtacks and you mark every spot you've been um, in these states and looks like they only got one on Virginia uh, all right, What is that? Oh the uh, Marine Corps National Museum. That's awesome Awesome Semper Fi my grandfather was a Marine in World War II and he was proud of that every day till the day he passed he was that was his <laughs> It wasn't about having kids and grandkids his pride and joy was being a Marine <laughs> But uh, pretty tough guys. This right here is your pantry. And this is and this is just other little things they did. These big slide out trays makes it easier to hold a ton more food. Look how deep this thing is. I mean, nothing's wasted in here. Ah. Seven and a half foot tall ceilings. I can barely touch it with the tip of my fingers and I'm six foot four. We're gonna walk toward the back and here is your washer and dryer. The one piece combo unit right here. Um, more storage. <laughs> You're not lacking for storage. Uh, your bathroom. Very usable, very nice size bathroom. Notice the wallpaper border is not peeling around the edges. That means this thing hasn't been stored in extreme heat. Uh, you've got an actually elongated porcelain china Dometic RV toilet. So that's really, really close to what you have in your home, about as close as you can get in a RV. And that area is kicked on, it is working. It's a whisper quiet unit, so you can barely hear it run when it's when it's running. Of course, we got the motor running too. Uh, big medicine cabinet. I mean, fantastic vent fan. Look at the skylight. Everything looks good, no stains. It's bleached a little bit, but you know what guys, this is an 06. You gotta expect that. Obviously it's been outside some from the state of the stripes. Place there for toiletries and stuff like that. We look over here, and this should be your dirty clothes chute. And they even left the bag in there for you, that's cool. Um, over here is your slide out switch and your water heater control. This is for your big slide with the closet in it. This closet is huge. This whole slide out is nothing but a closet. This, if I had to guess, this thing's probably 14, 12 to 14 feet long. This is closet. This is a bigger closet than I got in my, in our master bedroom at the house. Let me see. And these are extremely heavy doors to open. Ah. 
All right, here's your bag. It does have a central vacuum cleaner. There are your vacuum cleaner attachments and, and some extra bags they left for you. Looks like some extra bulbs. Uh, <laughs> I don't know how many clothes you need to hang up, but <laughs> wow. I, I couldn't even begin to fill this thing up with my clothes. That is a huge closet. And there's just some extra carpet in case you ever rip it or stain it or something like that. You don't have to worry about trying to match a piece to, to, to put it in. You've got all these drawers, eight drawers at the bottom of the bed, huge bedroom with another slide out right there with the TV. We're standing right on top of this big motor. Queen Island bed, still got the original bed spread. Uh, most, some of the lights have been changed to LEDs, and this is funny right here. This one's been changed to LEDs. Th that one hasn't. <laughs> um, I'm going to show you another little hidden compartment, too. So this picture right here. Open this up. This is your ceiling fan control, light switch, and most importantly, your slide-out control. And you got a, a phone jack, which those are obsolete now, but... And you've got a huge solid door right here for privacy. Like this is not a hollow door. A matter of fact, you ever have to remove this thing, you better have you a couple of a uh, couple of guys, strong guys helping you, because that thing is massively heavy. This unit also has a Kingdom satellite system, which. What I tell people on those, especially on those six model, chances are it's gonna be obsolete, but if it has been updated and upgraded through the years, just consider it a free bonus, but just buy it under the assumption that that satellite, you can't get service for it anymore. I mean, wow. Definitely, and don't get me wrong guys, this thing's obviously been used recreationally most of his life. And if you want to buy it for that purpose, then more power to you. You can just carry a lot more stuff with you. But if you're wanting one to live in, this one's hard to beat. Hey, even the remote control caddy on the back of the seat. Think of every little touch that a full timer would appreciate. All the windows. Um, a couple of these windows are a little bit cloudy and that's because they're dual pane windows and a lot of times those seals will let in air as they get old and um, cloud them up a little bit. There's ways you can repair them. You can look on YouTube and there's ways you can repair them and get them clear again without replacing them. But uh, yeah, I don't know guys, that pretty detailed for you? <laughs> Sorry, I just, I love these alphas and this is the first one I've had to even really set foot in in a couple of years, much less review. Uh, guys, I've got an incredible price on this thing. Um, I'm thousands and thousands and thousands under retail. Uh, you know, I, I should be selling, you know, for all intents and purposes, I should be selling this thing for about 70 grand, but I'm not. I've got it for 59.9. And uh, <laughs> I promise you guys, when you, whoever looks at this thing, the first person that looks at it will buy it. That has the money to buy it. And, um, Runs and drives good. We just drove it several hundred miles back. This thing's been well cared for. I know the stripes on the outside are a little off, but that's something you can fix or just use it like it is. That's up to you. That's a cosmetic thing. A lot of times you can get those stripes. You can you can pay somebody to replace those stripes or the easiest best thing to do that's actually works better is just have somebody paint them, paint the stripes. So, um, in fact, I just had a band stripes painted. I'll try to review in the next day or two that you'll never have to worry about those things cracking, not for a long, long time. And you don't have to worry about trying to put put all that on it. So it's got two ceiling fans, one right there, one in the bedroom. Again, trying to give it a more residential feel. 59.9, I'm not taking a penny, a dime less for this thing. I don't care how you pay for it, cash, trade, finance. It's all the same to us, guys. 59.9 is a price. I don't care if you live next door to us or you live in California. 59.9 is a price. Um, if you're interested in this motorhome, give us a call. 706-965-7929. Let me know in the comments what you think about it, guys. Um, 
I like it. You know, if you know, even even several years ago, because you know, when I retire, guys, which I, I'm a ways from that, I'm still probably another 17, 18, maybe 20 years before I'm able to retire. If this if this company was was still around, I would have bought one of these brand new just to hit the road in. Uh, this brand or a uh, Born Free, if I wanted to go with a small one, um, was always my tune. Of course, go figure. Both of them are not in business anymore. But and by the way, guys, you can still get parts for these as far as like appliances, plumbing parts, electrical parts, generator parts, all that stuff's aftermarket awning parts, all that stuff anyway. So you don't really have to worry about that. Um, you know, even if you like say something weird, like you lost a, an outside storage bay door, there's companies that actually custom build those for you. So not cheap, but you can find places that can make you a door. But guys, if if you're interested in this motorhome, you're not going to be disappointed. You're going to love it. If you're going to full time in one, you're going to love it. That motor is a great motor. It's toes plenty. 100 gallon fuel tank i mean this thing's made for the it's made for the long haul uh 7500 onan diesel generator runs great slide outs work great we guarantee like all of our used rvs we do guarantee uh the air conditioning systems and as far as like the basement air and the roof air kicker and we guarantee the refrigerator freezer all to get to operating temp like they're supposed to we guarantee slide outs to work. We guarantee generator to run and put out like it's supposed to. And uh, we guarantee it to go down the road and ride and drive like it's supposed to. And anything else you want to inspect, I'll have it plugged in your shore power. You can come out here and inspect it, check it out. You can crank it. You know, I unplugged it from shore power, but I'm going to plug it back up when I get done with the video. Like I said in my previous videos, I always like to shoot my video with the generator running instead of shore power. So that way I can honestly tell you that it works. Just like I like to have the fridge on so I can tell you without a doubt that it works. I don't want to tell you something works if it doesn't. Uh, general, uh, air conditioners, in fact, it's cut off because it's, it's pretty chilly in here. Um, works great. Kicker air. It's just a nice motor home for what it is, guys. And especially for a triple slide diesel for 59.9 of this quality is really nice. If you're interested, give us a call, 706-965-7929. Being in 06, I still have some financing available with approved credit. Maybe not as much as if it was like a six or seven year old or newer unit, but I still have some financing available with approved credit. But I do recommend checking with your bank or credit union to see what kind of loans they offer you and what you qualify for with them. Just for a basis of comparison, guys, we don't mark interest rates up one bit. But keep in mind, banks do charge a little bit higher rate for older motor homes, and they shorten the terms, too. So cheaper doesn't always mean you can get a better deal on financing. Usually it's, you know, I'm not much of a payment shopper. I always like to keep my uh, amount financed down as low as possible and my rate low as possible. But sometimes you can actually get a newer, more expensive motor home for less a month than a cheaper, uh, older one. But whoever buys this, more than likely, is going to be a cash buyer. Because I've got it so far under retail, it's obviously a good deal. And, and you can obviously tell from the condition of it that it's been well cared for. Got ceramic tile floor in the main walkway. I mean, Johnny Crane really knew what he was doing when he built these. And it was kind of a shame that they didn't last. Because a motorhome like this today in 2021... With everybody full timing right now, like they are, would do. Even though it'd probably be half a million dollars today, would do incredibly well if if another manufacturer would design a motorhome with these principles and design features in mind. Like it would probably be one of the best selling motorhomes out there for the for its class. But anyway, thank y'all for watching. I know this is a little bit longer video. Uh, give us a call 706-965-7929 if you're coming a long distance i would highly recommend leaving a deposit i would be very surprised if this thing's here 24 hours after i post this video because a lot of people are looking to full time you know they don't want to go out and spend three or four hundred thousand dollars on on a diesel motor home they see something like this for 59.9 
that's a gas motor home price with three slides not a diesel but this is a diesel and all the amenities this thing has even if it's not a full time or even if it's just for a recreational use it's still an incredible deal 706-965-7929 is the number call before coming to look obviously I don't want you to make a trip for nothing if somebody else has already beat you to it um come out and look at it spend some time in it i promise you it's not going to take you long to say i want it i promise you that you can test drive it monday through friday 9 a.m to 6 p.m uh that's the only time we do test drives we are open saturday from nine to five east all times eastern of course uh but that's we can't do test drives on saturday guys we just don't have the uh, manpower to do it and um yeah you know you got to plan your trip accordingly let us know you're coming. We'll come out here and turn the fridge on for you. Give it a few hours to get cold before you get here so you can see that it works. Just call us beforehand. Let us know you're coming and, and about what time you're coming. And we'll uh, we'll have it plugged in for you and refrigerator on. Fortunately, I got it parked right here where I got some plug-ins. But guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Keep in mind, guys, that 59.9 price is haggle-free firm. But we have no extra fees. You pay 59.9 applicable sales tax. Which, if you're here's your hint, a tip. If you're coming from out of state and you're paying cash, in other words, you're not financing, you can just bring it, bring a cashier's check, wire transfer, 59.9, and you can take it, take the motor home home with you. That'd be the out the door price. Now, if you are financing it, depending on the bank you finance through, some banks require us to collect estimated sales tax for your state some don't uh they would have to collect that if the bank does require it if they don't then you just pay it out of pocket when you tag and title it i mean you always got to. everybody's got to pay tax guys i mean there's no really no way around it not in a legal way um so uh you just pay it either here or you pay it now or pay it later but anyway guys thank you for watching uh, and just a quick reminder too guys georgia residents uh we have to charge you a hundred dollar highway impact fee 40 to 50 dollar tag and title fee that does not apply to anybody but georgia residents we have no dock fees no prep fees no processing fees no happy camper fees freight fees none of that stuff you need delivery give us a call we'll get you a delivery quote um we just pretty much ask you to reimburse us our cost to get this motor home to you get my driver back home and um let us know about that i also forgot to mention guys uh for those those of you who are really into tech stuff this unit has a 50 degree turning radius on either way you turn one of the tightest turning radiuses of a 40 foot diesel on the market even today like i said designed for convenience of full timers <laughs> including driving it I'll put a uh, link in the video description below to our website, parkwayrvcenter.com. There you can see a very comprehensive sales brochure from Alpha explaining everything this thing has as far as technical information. And I will also, uh, it, you can also see our other diesel motorhomes we have in stock. Variety of price ranges. Honestly though, I think pound for pound, foot for foot, this is probably one of the better deals here in this price range in this price point i mean there's not many places you can buy a motorhome like this for under 60 grand but here you can thank you for watching guys i really appreciate it hit that subscribe button if you haven't already hit the bell notification button um comment smash me a thumbs up share on social media let me know in the comments how you like this motorhome what you think about it and um Look forward to reading them. Come out and visit with us. Make sure you like my page on Facebook, RVs with Big Bo. You can also message me through my Facebook page. <clears throat> I'm not in sale, so I can't sell you a motor home, but I can certainly, I don't mind talking to you, giving you a little advice. I've been in this industry for 25 years. I've been an RV owner for that long as well, or a little longer than that. And um, I've worked on these things. I've delivered them. I've bought them i've sold them i've done about everything you can do in this business guys i've covered as a finance manager i've done covered as a service manager for a time like i said i've done just a little bit of everything i don't mind sharing some of that knowledge you guys 
uh, unlike a lot of these other guys that review RVs, that most of them have never owned one or never even spent the night in one, I actually have real world experience with these. Thank you again for watching, guys. Appreciate it. We'll cut it off already at 35 minutes. <laughs> I knew this was going to be a long one. Our address 5568 Battlefield Parkway, Ringo, Georgia, parkwayrvcenter.com. One more time, our phone number to please call. If you're interested, don't email, call, because it'll probably sell before that email gets answered. 706-965-7929 during business hours. Thank you again for watching. Look forward to seeing you here in beautiful Ringgold, Georgia. Hey guys, just a quick little, uh, quick little postscript of the video. I was turning everything off and plugged it back into shore power and air kicked back on. And I've got generator motor off. Guys, the air conditioner's on high. I know a complaint with a lot of people is how loud the rooftop units are. I literally can barely hear the air conditioner. But it's working. It's blowing out cold air. I don't know if you can hear anything or not, but look here. And that's... I hear the fan blowing the air out more than I actually hear the compressor. Oh, by the way, I was I was putting it up to that vent right there. Um, wow. Incredible how quiet this air is. Anyway, just thought I'd point that out, add that to the end of the video. Yeah, that may not be a concern to you, but I know a lot of people, they like to know that stuff. So uh, thank you again for watching. Look forward to seeing you here in beautiful Ringgold, Georgia. And this is the end of the video, I promise. See you soon.